Hey guys, just a quick look ahead at the events for the week to come, starting the week of April 29th. Um, we now get the information about events even a week earlier, but this is more for me to work out the math once the event has actually started. Uh, so we have Miracle Eyes for the most unexpected of rewards already, which is Hodor. Uh, nobody really expected him to come into eyes so soon, especially since they skipped Arwen, but here he is, and so he is 100% worth pulling. His support, he's an amazing support, but he also has the ability to be amazing damage, so he really can be um, good in pretty much any team, almost any team. And then if you want damage, you're going to want to have like an Aegina. So anyway, 83 eyes to pull on the first day. Or if you 83 eyes on the first day, if you want to pull, because you need 100. Otherwise, um, just 100 because of heroic runes. So on the heroic runes, it's Minotaur. Nobody cares. We're just doing heroic runes. Uh, next is going to be. Um, all right, well, let's do. There's a couple of big things here. So what this is, is this is the new mythic artifacts. Now, in order to get one of these, there's only five available at this time, but you're going to need two copies of one of these. So in order to get this, you have to have one max level Tears of the Goddess orange, and then just a second one in order to get it to one star. And then this option is to get it to two star, and this option is to get it to three star, and you can see that the costs go up. Now, there's a full list of the stats for what they do. But the most important thing to notice is that Oracle, Grail, and Scroll, they lost their extra abilities at myth at regular 5-star. So Scroll was known for giving you extra attack every turn. Oracle was known for giving you a bubble. Grail is known for giving you extra healing when you fire your skill. All of those are gone at the regular version, and you must upgrade them to Mythic via this to get those back. So... To do that, you have to have at least two copies of something. Mythic Tears of the Goddess is pretty amazing, but it is very expensive, so be careful. To do that, you're going to need this Rune Dust. Now, I have a list of what, how you get Rune Dust over there. To do that, you come and click this plus, and you can fodder some artifacts. So you can see that a blue one gives you four. Uh, an orange one gives you 264. Oh, that one gave less. That's weird. And then a maxed orange one gives, oh, a maxed orange one I think gives 4,000 something. So uh, 4580. So this is one maxed orange artifact for 4580. So if you happen to, so if you're going to need the, the 38,000 it takes to take an artifact to Mythic 3, it's pretty easy to get. By now, people have tons and tons of spare artifacts that they're not using. So easy to get. However, this is a very, very pay to win option. So as much as it kind of hurts to look at from the, the lower, the people that don't pay anything or pay very little. Um, this is one of those things where people that have a lot of money and resources are going to run away a little bit. Uh, again, full stats for all of these can be found on the Discord. For example, the Tears of the Goddess gives 20 energy to the entire team when it fires, when the hero fires. So having a few of these means your team just fires nonstop. Could be pretty crazy. All right, so next we're going to go into the idol event. So here the idol event is boxing gloves, these boxing gloves. And there's a second currency that you get is these knives, katanas, I don't know. We'll just call them katanas. So this is an event where you use the boxing gloves to as the shop currency and the katanas are used to refresh. So... So I'll just refresh. Let's get some stuff. Oh, here's the Tears of the Goddess. Hey, they're pretty good with the 15% off this time. Ooh, Arwen's 2,900. So the things that... I, so the, so they items will come randomly from 0, 10, or 15% off. The costs don't match up exactly with those percentages, but you're obviously aiming for 15% off on anything you want. Uh, as you can see over there, Skuld with 15% off is 2,800. You saw a Tears of the Goddess and a Ragnarok both at 15% off are 3,400. 
you have a limited number of these re these refreshes so be careful with just using them like I just did oh grail is in here too so then it is the same cost again uh, you get 28 of these refresh items over the course of the event and based on my math we're gonna get about 1890 or so of the boxing gloves for free which means obviously nowhere close to a hero at all so Arwen was 2900 Watchmen was 2700 and then at 15% off Arwen would still be like 2500 so way beyond uh, the weekly card gives you 300 and then after that you're just gonna have to pay for the rest um, based on those numbers Ragnarok is about $120 and Skuld is about $90 so it's a pretty heavy paying event but otherwise you can just go for the the filler items the um, the miracle eyes the gold keys whichever one you happen to need usually gold keys is the safe option and really since most of us aren't gonna make it to a hero or anything be very careful about refreshing too many times because if you run out of refreshes and you oh you can buy 20 of them actually I didn't notice that so you can buy 20 more you get 48 total over the event but be very careful about using too many of them and being stuck without gold or miracle eyes or gold keys with no refreshes left be very careful about that because once that happens you're actually completely out of luck uh, they do have a two dollar package to give you just a little bit of help for that if you happen to want to spend some little a little bit of money there just to save yourself and that should be pretty much it for this week it's a pretty complicated set of events so I imagine we're gonna see a lot of people wondering about the mythic artifacts and whether or not it's worth it um, they're definitely worth it if you can afford it but most people can't afford it so oh well uh, that's all for this week see you guys next week